like to see what you have in stock. Is that what you want? I do good work, I must say. What have you got for me today? You are looking powerful. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Make sure you look at my new designs. 
May I see your stores? Anything else I can do for you? I have to go. See you soon. Goodbye, Eivor. I would like to see what you have in stock. else what have you got for me today all done I must take my leave so long bye Eivor Of the plant you asked for. It took some effort. Good, good. Thank you, Eivor. Here you are. And be careful. This brew will feel as cold as ice on your lips. Yet, will burn like a fire in your belly.
Jotunheimer. I have not set foot in this realm in some time. I must find the witch Angreboda. She knows all that happens here. Our father's hall is a heaven to all. I remember there was a cauldron here once, brought by Thor from Hemius Hall. A cauldron a mile deep, a mile of mead. I miss that cauldron. Father bet the cauldron on a foolish wager with Sutungar and lost. But we still have the ale from our brewery. Where is Agir now? He's gone to Utgar. 
He sent the cauldron to Sudgungar, but it never got there, so he's gone to find out what's what. Oh, but enough of that. You are a visitor to our great land, and we know its secrets. Ask of us your questions. I want to know the unknown. Where should I look? There is a broken tower near Utgather that was once a place of great magic. Perhaps there is still some to be found there. To magic! May we never be without it. Skull! Let us tell you more of our homeland. What animals will I find in the wild? I have heard tell of a great bear of stone and ice that lives by a frozen lake. Enough talk! Time for a drink! Skull! Let us tell you more of our homeland. <sighs> Spin me a tale of tragedy. Once, Thor dashed the great serpent Jormungandr against our shores. Many ships wrecked. Many Jotnar drowned. Seek a lonely tree of the shore and walk beneath it. You'll see. Now let us drink to the fallen. Skull! You don't look well. Is our ale taking a toll on you? Snortington demands tribute. King Snortington, the boar. Once a prisoner, now free. I think we even made up a song about it.
What do you see? Uncle Bula's home was right here when I last visited. May still be. Cast about this land, my friend. Stretch your wings, Sunan. See you, old friend. Go, Sudan.
Have a look, Sunin. Show me what lies ahead. Inherit the Nine Realms. I cannot allow that. They are capable of more than you know, and I will not help you bring about their ruin. Then you are a fool. Please enter. Do not trouble to knock or announce yourself. Angrabola, I have traveled far to find you. And you are brave to darken my door alone. Where is my lover, the dark fox that slinks between my sheets? Loki has stayed in Asgard to help rebuild the damage from a recent attack. How generous. And entirely unlike him. You used to be much better at lying. I am not Loki's keeper. I've come to understand Jotnar magic, your method for moving Hugo from one body to another. The mead? You seek the mead. Hirokin! You have long outstayed your welcome. Then I will take my leave. But remember what I said, Angarbova. You will see things my way in time.
Who was your visitor? She's powerful and cruel, and none of your concern. The mead she spoke of. Where can I find it? A slip of the tongue. Forget what you heard. Do not play games with me, witch. You would sell any truth for the right price. If one had the means to pay it. There is a root called Hag's Claw. It grows at the bottom of a waterfall to the south, at the forest's edge. Bring me three roots from the place where the Red Moss thrives. Then we will speak of the mead. I will hold you to it. See the unseen. Show me. This land hides its secrets well, but no secret is safe from me.
This root turns my stomach.
Aid me. Be my eyes. I have done as you asked. Now, where is my wisdom? Give it a moment to brew. There. An elixir to ready your spirit. How will this bring me the meat? It will open your mind to the secrets of the world. While we wait, let us speak of Asgard. How fared your defenses after the last attack? We, um, we have been weakened. By treachery. Without time to rebuild, we... We may not withstand another attack. Wait. I, uh... I, I did not mean to say that. I... I feel... Strange. Hexclaw has a way of untying the tongue. <laughs> now. You have said you want the mead. But how badly? How much would you sacrifice to be freed of fate's shackles? Would you give your tongue... Your hand, your sight. I 
I would. I would give all that, and more. I would like to see that. Loki, what trickery is this? I have sapped your strength, Javi. And I will take your life if your answers displease me. Did you think I would not come for you? After what you did to my son? Our son. Fenrir. A name I think you have heard before. Yes. In the final reckoning, the wolf Fenrir will be my doom. Now you know. Now you can no longer deceive. Tell me! What will you do with him? I want to kill him. But I cannot. I swore an oath to you, Loki, and I will not break it. I will not take his life. Fenrir will be imprisoned until the day of prophecy, when we will meet upon the field of battle, as we are fated to. Then we will bind you until that day, as you mean to bind our son. An eye for an eye. I see she let you live. You must have done something right. <laughs> let me help you down from there. No! No! Wait! 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 No! You could have let me down gently. That would presume I cared for your comfort. Then why release me at all? For the same reason you are in Jotunheim. You seek the mead, and I can help you get it. I assume there is a price. I want a small sample for myself. The rest is yours. Fair? Do I have a choice? Of course you do not. The mead is kept by Sutungr and his daughter Gunlother in the vault at their home in Utgarder. The vault is opened only on occasion of a great feast, when Sutungur shares the bounty of his cellar. And it would be a poor host who did not throw a feast for a distinguished visitor. Say, the High One of Asgard. You are not as ox-witted as I feared. Why do you want the mead? My motives are not your business, as yours are not mine. All you need to do is get it. I must bring a mighty gift to Sutungar, if I am to earn my welcome. That idiot drunkard Agir recently lost his cauldron to Sutungar in a wager, but it disappeared on the way to Utgarder. Sutungar would be grateful indeed if I returned that cauldron to him. Seek the tree that wears the scars of the World Serpent Scales. The cauldron would have passed by there. You might also bring a gift for Gunlother. There are treasures that would flatter her in Thrymmer's house by the lake near Utgarther. I will bear that in mind. When you have the mead, join me at the Well of Mimir. There I will show you how to escape your doom at Ragnarok. Should I su
tree Hurricane mentioned. Its bark cut deep by Jormungandr's shops. Here's the tree Hurricane mentioned. Its bark cut deep by Jormungandr's sharp scales. I should look around for the missing cauldron. Survey the area, Sudan. Flesh met here, but you'd not leave no corpses. Something huge is dragged this way. of the great. 
great Yotun Screamhead dropped here long ago. Maybe the thieves took that burden inside. Soft moss all around. Hard to imagine this place once fitted a hand. They will attack on sight here. Finger.
escapes home to these Yatna. They must have fallen far to live in such cheerless squalor. It seems his sons have been hiding here, awaiting their chance to take it back. Too big to carry. But things are not always as they seem in your denial. The cauldron has grown smaller. I'm getting the measure of these illusions. should be enough to win Sutungur's favor. I could go to Utgartha now, but a gift for Kulula would improve my chances at getting the meat. <sighs> Oh, Dino! 
I need your eyes, my friend. None but the high one. Ratatusk the tree rat, what message do you carry today? I've received a new message just this morning. It says... Ratatusk is this girl who here shall run on the ash tree Yggdrasil. And the high one is he who will be crushed underneath my flighting skill. What say you, high one? I will take you on, Squirrel. Say when. Good! Let's begin. I'm a messenger born, and I have got a word here from up on high. You'll be slain and undone by my cutting wit. As a warrior born, I am unafraid to die. <laughs> you are no good. Drilled tooth, I am named for the way I bite at the bark of this world tree. But they ought call me knife tongue for words so sharp. I will best you at flighting, I swear you'll see. Your failure delights me. I deal mostly in gossip, but hear say truth. Hearken to the words I speak. You are a fat-headed fool and a puny god. I grow weary of your squeak. That was almost good. I knew you were no match for me. Hail the new squirrel father. The high one returns. <laughs> Will you be flighting with me again? This time, I'm ready. Let's begin. I'm a messenger born, and I have got a word here from up on high. You'll be slain and undone by my cutting wit. I should like to see you try. Drill tooth, I am named for the way I bite at the bark of this world tree. But they ought call me knife tongue for words so sharp. They're too dull to conquer me. Not bad for an old man. I deal mostly in gossip, but hear say truth. Hearken to the words I speak. You are a fat headed fool and a puny god. I grow weary of your squeak. That was almost good. Ratatusk is the squirrel who here shall run on the ash tree Yggdrasil. Though he fought with some fury and did his best, it was Harvey got the kill. Tch! You did better than I thought. Now leave this place before I bite. once stood here, before ruin came upon it.
But... Loki often tells the tale of how Thrymia stole Thor's hammer. It seems his account of Thor's rage was no exaggeration. Bridal circlet. This would be a gift worthy of Kunloda's attention.
Best raise my hood here. was a thrall, as is my wife. Ours?
To my eyes, stranger. Small in stature, but great in deed. I am the one they call Javi, the High One of Asgard. And I come bearing a great gift. Your name is known to me, but what could mighty Sutunger want that a little thing like you could provide? Your great cauldron, stolen by Hemia's sons. Let this offering be a beginning to the end of our hostilities. Such a small thing, yet so much steeper than it seems. Appearances can be deceiving, can they not? <laughs> well spoken, Harvey. Our people may be enemies, but you have earned your welcome here. Thralls, an honored guest has come. Prepare a feast! I hope also to meet your daughter, Gunlutha. I have heard much of her skill in the mystical arts. She will be toiling at her work, as ever. But be forewarned, she shuns the company of others. I could summon her to the feast, if you like. We might discuss matters of alchemy on the way. That would please me. You will find her in her grotto, up the path, within the circle of stones. Have a care, though. You are safe in my presence. But you wander Utgard at your peril. I will be discreet. And Harvey, be kind. Gunnlother is different from you and I. Soon, guide me. Oh. 
Toil and drudgery is our lot. The way inside is revealed. Gunloda? What is this place? Some time ago, we made powerful magic here. We sought to see all futures. But every road led to Ragnarok. Father does not visit here anymore. He sees no profit in it. But I am not yet ready to give up. You are Esir. I am. I have seen images of the future, heard the voices of those who will come after us. Voices from... in there? Yes. I leave them words. Little packets of possibility, waiting for unknown ears, many ages hence. What do these future voices say? They seek the wisdom of the past. They speak of things to come, but even they cannot turn the tide of Ragnarok. There is to be a feast in my honor. Your father sent me to fetch you. No, not yet. Listen. I want you to hear the voices. Are you there, Prophet? Can you hear me? Perhaps another day, another thread. Come, we must not keep father waiting. It is cold out here. How can that surprise you? I haven't been outside in... Uh, I don't know how long. You are devoted to your work. Not my work, my responsibility. My people ignore the disaster bearing down on them. Someone must do something. We have long searched for a solution what? until the burden of it has what? bent my mind. I do not think as clearly as I once did. I've heard there's one method still untested. There is, but to activate it would mean defiling our well of knowledge, from which all of Midgard drinks. There is no telling the change it would wreak on humankind. It would bring chaos at the least, and I do not wish to hurt them. Even if it means the death of all Jotna? We will find another way. We must. This land is quite beautiful. I had all but forgotten. trying to change fate. What counts is how you face it. 
No stone walls will defend us when Ragnarok comes. All we have built here will be swept away. For so long, we made magics there, in that tower. Enchantment has seeped into its very walls. The wind and snow have gnawed that tower to the bone. Soon, we will knock it down. Your feast is prepared. I hope it pleases you. You are generous and hospitable indeed, great Sutungar. None can say otherwise. And see, your gift stands in pride of place, brimming with freshly fermented mead. Enough for a hundred Yotnar and more. This is an unexpected honor. You have filled it already with mead from your vault, then? No need. It has filled itself. Such is the magic of the cauldron. Impressive. But what if it should run out of meat? Do you hear this? <laughs> Harvey fears he will drink us dry. <laughs> my cauldron is deep, but my vault is deeper. Do not worry about my stores of mead. I have plenty to go around. Father, you know revelry does not suit me. Must I attend this feast? I have work to do. Your work can wait, my daughter. Take a moment. Enjoy yourself. Father, we have very little time. Enjoy yourself. I insist. Harvey, the guests are uneasy. They see an Aesir, but they do not know you. Will you address them? I'm ready. Now, we will hear from our honored guest. The Lord of the Aesir has come in peace and brought us a mighty gift. Attend. Harvey, I'm called, whose axe is never slaked. The blood of my enemies is my meat, their skulls my pillow. You brag well. They were ever pleased by violence. You are all brothers and sisters to me. Do not be too familiar. 
Jotnar are slow to trust. Now I will sing you the lay of Eden, whose apples gave life eternal. Those with rumbling bellies will not stand for long tales. Now we will drink deep and eat heartily. Let the feast begin! The guests are not drinking fast enough. Perhaps I can speed things along. What do you say, musicians? Where is the music? I've seen more life in a grave No guests in the kitchen! Out! Challenges to face that champion. Abby! Show us your might! Beat that champion and we will drain our horns in your honor. Bring me this champion and I will shine my knuckles on his jawbone. Behold! Do not mock me. I will not fight a withered old crone. <laughs> if you are too afraid to face her, well, that is that. If she is truly your champion, then so be it. I will try not to break her brittle bones, but I promise nothing. Who is in the mood for a brawl? Is she too strong for you? Can you not beat an old woman? Don't be scared of that crumble bones. Indeed, you are mighty. You have fought old age and won. No one has ever done that before. Drink to me then, as you promised you would. All of you, empty your horns for heavy! They beat the champion. Is there any sweeter music than the clash of drinking horns? Agir, mighty friend to the Asir. Are you not sorry to lose your cauldron? It was never mine by right. Thor won it from Hymir so he might feast in my hall. I only kept it on his behalf. And after that bloody business with Hymir's sons, well, I'd as soon be rid of it. I'll have no strife beneath my roof. The end of strife. I'll drink to that. And I'll drink to anything. The mead is half gone. Then Agir's cauldron can be drained. Greetings, Harvey. Will you test your arm at archery? You must hit three targets in a handful of heartbeats. I can shoot the wings of a wasp. Ah, but can you do it while mead adult? Before each attempt, you must take a drink. I'll take your challenge on one condition. For every drink I take, you take two. Ha! <laughs> That's a condition I'll gladly accept. Are you ready? Show me those targets. Then take a drink and let fly! Come, give it a try! What's the worst that can happen? Last time I played your game, I got so drunk I shot my brother in the leg. Close your eyes! What's this second thrust? <laughs> Did you forget your mead? Drink from the cup and start again. There. Fine shot! Now, have a drink and try another. You look a bit wobbly there! Careful! Steady eye now. The last one is the hardest. You look a bit wobbly there! Careful. You are a keen shot, Harvey. Your hand grows steadier with drink, where others lose their eye. Another round? Uh, not for me. My belly roils like a knot of eels. And I see three of you. I think I should walk this off. What can I do to get them to drink faster? Is that Loki there? 
Loki? Not me, friend. My name is Thok. Uh, forgive me. I, I thought you were someone else. Too much drink in too little time. The cure for that is sleep. Is that Loki there? Surely he would not dare. Gunlother looks glum. She has not touched a drop of mead. You're not drinking, Gunlother. I do not care for it. Drink is the heron that steals away one's memory. Some would say it frees the spirit of worry. We call those people drunks. <laughs> I see your wit is as sharp as your intelligence. Wit? I was simply stating a truth. Let us play a game. Ask me some riddles. I will see if I can guess them. I enjoy a good riddle. How did you know? All great minds enjoy riddles. You fashion order from disorder, sense from nonsense. You have me at that. Very well, I will play. Give me an easy one to begin. Would that I had now what I had yesterday. Find out what that was. Mankind it mars, speech it hinders, yet speech it will inspire. The answer is courage. No, the answer is ale. I thought you would get that, as you seem so fond of it. Would you like another? All right, I'm ready. Who is that shrill one who rides a hard road and has fared that way before? He kisses hard who has two mouths and goes only on gold. It is a hammer. Well done. I hope that wasn't just a guess. One more? I feel good about this one. Be prepared. This is the hardest yet. White-haired women, servants too, bore ale tub to the larder. No hand turned it, nor hammer beat it. But there, outside the islands, the upright one who made it. One more time. White-haired women, servants too, bore ale tub to the larder. No hand turned it, nor hammer beat it. But there, outside the islands, the upright one who made it. Old age is the answer. Old age? I think age is slowing your brain. The answer is swans and eggs. Well, now the game is over. Have I raised your spirits at all? I feel a little better. You are kind to attend to me, Javi. Most have given up trying. I need to empty that cauldron. Then Tsutunga will open his vault. The right food will inspire thirst. I should head to the kitchen. Thralls. Somber souls will only sip at their drinking horns. Conjure us a tune to raise their spirits. We are keen, but my harp has been stolen. We cannot play without it. Who would steal a Songbringer's instrument? There was a group of children playing around us earlier, with mischief in their eyes. I will get your harp back, and then you will play. Thralls. Humans kept in bondage, bred to serve. Such is the fate of the lonely. Tales and songs are not but wind and cloud. It's deeds that matter. To go get your grubby paws off that harp does not belong to you little thief you should give it back what are you gonna do fight me for it why don't you give me a real challenge all right you want this harp go dive from that me climb as high as you can though i want a big splash watch and learn get your grubby paws off my harp my turn my turn not you too you break the strings with your sausage fingers! <laughs> Bet they won't do it! How many broken bones, you think? Fifty at least. Maybe a hundred. Now give back the harp, so the musicians may play. Umias, hairy balls! That was amazing! 
amazing! You must be half raven! Who taught you such language? Mother? Why? Tales and songs are not but wind and cloud. It's deeds that matter here. Great Sutunger, your guests thirst for mead, yet the cauldron is dry. All gone? I never would have thought it possible. Gunnar. Father? Open the vault. Instruct the thralls to bring more mead for my guests. Do they really need more, Father? Several are unconscious already. Do as I ask, daughter. Give them all they can drink. As you wish, I will open the vault. None will say that Sutunger is less than generous. None will be capable. Aid me, be my eyes. I heard a noise and... What are you doing here? I uh, wanted to speak with you away from the others. I, I brought you something. A gift. For me? Thank you, but why? Fate, Gunnlother. We are helpless to escape it. And we were fated to be here now, together. You and I? How? It makes no sense. The Nordnir spin their patterns, and we can only surrender. We are entwined, spun together. There's perfect sense in that. Your words, your gift... Your eyes when you look upon me. You bewilder me, Javi. I do not understand you. Listen and attend. I will show you all you need to know.
The mead. By this strange magic might the ACA evade our doom. Yurikin has promised answers at the well of Mimir. Red-handed. Betrayer! Deceiver! I treated you as an honored guest, and this is how you repay me? I saw you at the feast, Loki. Small wonder you disguised yourself after all you have done. Someone needed to warn my people of the treachery in your heart. Suttungar, show this Aesir how the Jotna deal with thieves. Come! Embrace your death! You're not going anywhere, Arnie. What have you done with my daughter? to suffer one such as you. Your bones will splinter beneath my boots. It was me who took your meat and not Loki. What I do, I do for the safety of the Aesir and Vaniad. You will change countless fates, Avi, but not your own. We will see. Hidigan said to find her at Mimi as well. I will deal with this venomous trickster another day.
Yggdrasil feed from the well of Mimir. I am close. See you, old friend. Survey the area sooner. I sorely underestimated the heft of your balls, Oathbreaker. You dare show your face. Oathbreaker, I did to you what you did to my son. This is only fair. And Sutunga, what of him? Don't blame me for your own lack of character. You stole the mead. For the safety of my people, Loki. For Asir, for Vanir, for all of Asgard. But not for Jotnar, not for me. You let the Jotnar into Asgard. So many dead, all so you could smuggle in your son. He was not safe here. They knew what he was and knew what he would become. Just as you do. I swore to you I would not harm him. That is the truth. That is the truth now. But how it will gnaw at you, knowing that to kill my son will undo your doom. Release him, Harvey! Release Fenrir, or I swear, I will kill you, here and now! You are out of favors, Trixer, and you are welcome to try. When my son is loosed from his bondage, he will ravage all of us! Fight as well as you lie! Finished. Curse you, Harvey. 
Your own distrust has undone you. Now go, and do not show your face again. I cannot be other than who I am. All this was fated. All this will happen again. But you will not be here to see it. Do not be so sure of that. The game is not over. The game is never over! <laughs> So who knows what mischief? But I will not see him again soon. The probabilities lead us here. The calculations give us hope. Speaking with someone? Do you have the mead? I do. Must I drink it now? Not yet. For once you drink, your hugur will take flight and be ever fixed. Drink only when the hour of your death approaches. Then why are we here? When Ragnarok has come and gone, this place will remain. Remain and remember. Wise Mimir, keeper of the well, give me your counsel. You who seek immortality may find it within these waters. But there is a price. As always. The mead is not magic alone. It requires the sacred waters of Mimir's well to ferment into its final state. Before you take these waters, you must infuse them with the blood of the Asi. To remember you, it must know you. Surrender a part of yourself to the waters that nourish the world tree. Only then will you have that which you desire. You yourself have lost much for wisdom. Beheaded by those who did not value your learning. My Hugur is here. That is all that matters. I have learned to live incomplete, as will you. And if I make this sacrifice, what then? While death and ruin rage all around, the World Tree will keep you. Your body will die, but your Hugur will live on here. In time, you will be born anew, into a new world birthed from the ashes of the old. Do you vouch for this strangeness? I must believe it, for there is one I love dearly who depends upon it. And there is no other way? None. It seems I have no choice. You never did. How much would you sacrifice to be freed of fate's shackles? Would you give your tongue? Your hand? Your sight? I would give all that and more.
It is done. The sacrifice has been made. Whosoever drinks of the mead, the World Tree will remember them. And you? What is your sacrifice? My liberty. Sutungar and Gunlother will not forgive this trespass. They will hunt me now to the edges of the Nine Worlds. What are they to you? We ruled together for a time, a noble triad, as father, mother, and the sacred voice. Six times we tried to blunt the fangs of Ragnarok, and six times we failed. The Mead was our seventh. But they feared how it might change the humans for the worse, so they locked it away and banished me from Utgardr. By your efforts, you have returned to me what is mine. The ashes of my husband. He made his own sacrifice for knowledge. With a few changes to this mead, I may undo old sorrows. Do as you will. I've had my fill of this cursed realm. Bright mind, heart's ease. Beloved, I will not fail you again.
Come, settle your mind and tell me what you have seen. Strange things, Valka. I'm learning much and seeing more than my mind can understand. Go on. In Jotunheim, I sought and found a mead of incredible power. It promised me a strange effect. To drink it would deliver me from death. Shield me from the destruction of Ragnarok. By this mead, I hope to live beyond my own death, well into the future. Fascinating. Was that your final vision? They have not ended, not yet. Something compels me to return to Asgard. The elixir is ready when you are. The Nornir told me you'd be here. The cord is forged. Gleipnir, I call it. I'll wager there's a good story behind that wound. A tale for another time. Thank you for this. When you bind the beast, spare no loose ends. The cord will stretch or shrink to fit your needs. How tightly will it hold? The beast may resist. The more you tighten the cord, the stronger it will hold and the greater it will hurt, till the beast is rooted to the ground. Thank you, Ivaldi. You may go. You mean from Asgard, do you not? My debt to you is paid in full? Yes, as promised. Thank you, Harvey. I... Uh, I did not expect you to remember. Where will you go next? Under the mountains of Svatalpheim. Our mountains. To free the Earth's riches. For this is what I know best.
Have a look, Sunan. <laughs> Even Thunder's fury won't weaken my will. You knew!
Javi, you're a balm to my eyes. What happened to yours? A sacrifice for something greater. Is the wolf nearby? Yes, but he's grown. I have kept him company, but he's consumed by a sadness I cannot understand. Regrettable, but necessary. I knew from the start this wolf brought ill tidings. From the start it was a kind creature. But our mistrust and cruelty have robbed the poor wolf of its sweetness and life. Would it be a kindness to kill it then? We are past the time for such mercy. This wolf has power now that would test our strengths combined. I fear he is possessed of a power that renders him ever-living. Then we will offer him a different fate. This cord is unbreakable. You must convince him to wear it. It will act as a leash whose magic will signal that he is safely secured. An assurance to the Aesir fear him. A beacon, that is all. No harm will befall the poor Fenrir. Fenrir, yes. You know the creature's name. Did Loki tell you? He did. It is a fine name. Yes. Dweller of the Fens. An apt name for his current fate. Henry! A good word has come! Leave me! I wish you well, Great Wolf. But a fear still hangs over Asgard. The Aesir worry about your growing size and strength. Do they now? And what do they have to be afraid of, old friend? Harvey brings a collar fashioned by the dwarves, a beacon that we may track from a distance to know where you roam. Wear this, and you may live and thrive in Asgard, without worry. Oh, I smell something sour. Wear the collar, or return to Jotunheimer. There's no third way. Son of Loki, have I not treated you with kindness? We are bonded, you and I. And as I trust my king, so you may trust me. Open your mouth. As a pledge of faith, you may take my hand if I am untrue. Fair. Be swift, Harvey.
Legion rebels.
not strike the killing blow. All my oaths remain unbroken. Anyone lesser would have succumbed to his hatred. If I could have done this any other way... There was no other way, Harvey. Our fates are fixed. Fate, I know. You made a great sacrifice on my behalf. It was not for you. Do not think your kindness has made you a new friend, Lord of Imbeciles. I will kill you, all of you, gorging on Aesir flesh. You may strike the final blow, son of Loki, but I will savor my years of freedom before we meet again. <laughs> Come, old friend. The healing hands of Freya can help you. Have you come to say what I fear? Not to say, but to show a vision of the times to come. None living or dead now equal our heavy in arrogance. To believe that you could remake your fate thus. For all your efforts, for all your struggles, the threads of fate still bind you as tightly as ever. And yet, from this pattern, a single strand escapes the fray stubbornly clings to the weave. Esir, Vanir, your doom will come. The earth will shake, the sun will die. Jötnar will stalk your streets as fire rains upon your heads. And the great wolf Fenrir will feast upon your blood. But you have found a way to live beyond this terror. Let it flow. To cheat your death. From the life tree we go, to the life tree we shall one day return. Mind and spirit will search to a time far beyond your own. To a time in which you shall be reborn. None may follow. Loki least of all. It is done. Time to face our end.
Eivor, you have awakened. With more to share, I hope. I returned to Asgard. And what did you see? I bound the wolf Fenrir, Loki's son, with an unbreakable cord. The beast was enraged by my actions. We fought and I prevailed, but I could not kill the beast. You visit lore and legend. Things I would never have imagined to be real. Parables. Yet here you live them as memories. Every moment there was as tactile and as vital as you and I seated in this hut. This is wonderful. Was there more? There was a... a betrayal. I betrayed my friend Tyr. I stood by as the great wolf mauled him, tearing his arm off at the joint. I could have said something to prevent it, given him a warning. But I did nothing. How did it feel? I was unmoved by his pain. Not hateful, but I did not regret my indifference. A swig of poison that drinks like wine. Selfishness unmeasured often feels this way. What else did you see? I witnessed the final vision from the Nornir, the coming of Ragnarok. All was fire and ash, a chaos like a foul wind from the depths of Ginungagap. But we were ready for the coming storm. Eight of us, we drank the mead, then stood and marched to our doom. And that was the end of the Nornir's prophecy. How curious. Was there more? can make sense of no more. I see. The thrust of these visions seem clear to me. As in your first reverie, a fear of betrayal hangs upon you. Odin has seen fit to gift you with his infinite knowledge and the treasure of his experience. Perhaps his tale is a warning. The indifference he felt is a great pity. See that you do not follow this same road. To do so would risk a loneliness, a personal exile, worse than death. I understand. Or oh, I hope I do. Thank you, Valka. May I see your stores? Nothing more today. I'm off. Be well, friend. Make sure you talk to your raven regularly. They like that. Would like to see what you have in stock. I can get you that one easy. Oh, 
All my pieces are good, but that one's very good. Ah, let me look at you. Wonderful. One's pretty good. You have a keen eye for quality. There, better than before. You like the looks of that one? Is that what you want? You are looking powerful. I must take my leave. So long. some new styles for you what have you got for me today finished I have to go see you soon a good day to you
All right, bring out my lieutenant. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Nowhere I'd rather be than splitting skulls by your side. Come. Show me your valor in battle and earn your place at the great table. Up for some raiding?
Ready, folks. over here.
All right, bring out my lieutenant. I must take my leave. So long. Salutations. What do you have today? Have you got a contract for me? Another day. Another series of tasks that require a keen eye and a talent for violence. Interested? There will be contracts when the mood strikes you. I have to go. See you soon. You go on, I'll still be here. 